located in Japan's last frontier, the northern prefecture of Hokkaido, stand the two cities of Sapporo and Hakodate. From amazing scenic views, stunning nature spots, and delicious food, this area of Japan has much to offer. Every year, both cities rank within the top 10 to visit in the country, and the Sapporo to Hakodate route is one of the most popular routes taken in Hokkaido. While the journey between them is easily completed in a few hours, there are many hidden gems along the way that should not be missed, such as several scenic spots, a quaint lakeside onsen town, and an active volcano. And on this trip, we're going to visit all of these and more. My name is Reina Ong, staff writer for japanguide.com, and today I'm on assignment in Sapporo and Hakodate. On day one, I start in Sapporo where I do some sightseeing around the city before taking the train south to Lake Toya and spend the night in a beautiful lakeside hot spring town. On day two, I'll explore the nearby volcanic Mount Usu and then continue toward Hakodate, stopping along the way to walk around the islands of Onuma Park. Once I finally reach Hakodate, I'll take in one of Japan's most beautiful views and enjoy a seafood feast for dinner. So follow along as I go on a two-day trip from Sapporo to Hakodate. Day 1 Starting at Sapporo Station, I'll take a train, then a bus to Moere Numa Park, a large park just outside the city centre. After this, I'll stop at the Sapporo Beer Museum to learn about and sample the legendary brew, and then make my way back to Sapporo Station. From here, I'll catch a train to Lake Toya, where I'll check out some art sculptures along the lake shore and stay overnight at the hot spring town. Moere Numa Park right now and it's a massive park just outside of central Sapporo which you can see behind me. This park was opened in 2005 and designed by famous Japanese-American sculptor Isamu Noguchi. I'm gonna be walking around and looking at his unique installations. Sapporo Beer is one of the oldest brands of Japanese beer and well known around the world. And here at the Sapporo Beer Museum, we're going to check out the brewery and of course, drink some beer. My last stop for today is Toyako Onsen, a hot spring town halfway between Sapporo and Hakodate. And this area is known for its lake, Lake Toya, and hot springs, and an active volcano which we will be visiting tomorrow. Day 2 I start day 2 by heading up the ropeway of nearby Mount Usu, an active volcano, to see the crater and take in the view of the surrounding area. Then I'll take a bus to the mountain's western side and go on a hike through an interesting area that was affected by the eruption in 2000, before heading back to Toya Station.
I'm on Usuzan right now, which is an active volcano, and it feels like another world out here. You can even see the craters smoking behind me. This is the place which suffered the most damage in the 2000 eruption. On my left is the World of Bath House, and behind me is an apartment building. Now it's back on the train bound for Hakodate. Along the way, I'm going to make one stop at the delightful Onuma Park. I'm at Onuma Park right now, which is made up of two large lakes and lots of little islands in the lake. And one of the nice things about being here is there are lots of walking trails that you can follow to see the islands up close. By late afternoon, after taking the train again, I've arrived at Hakodate, just in time to catch a streetcar and ropeway up Mount Hakodate, which is said to have one of the top three night views in all of Japan. Positioned close to the ocean, Hakodate is known for its fresh seafood. So to end the day and also the trip, I'm going to a nearby seafood specialty restaurant for dinner. So, so far here we've had side dishes, like the egg and the fried puffer fish. Everything here has been absolutely delicious. One of the last courses for today that I'm going to end with is nigiri sushi and it's okay to eat it with your hands, and that's what I'm going to do. And that concludes our trip to Sapporo and Hakodate. Thanks for joining me. I hope this video has been enjoyable and perhaps even inspire some ideas should you decide to plan a trip to Sapporo and Hakodate. For more information or to watch another video, click the links on the screen now or head over to japanguide.com, your comprehensive up-to-date travel guide firsthand from Japan. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos about Japan. Happy travels!